Great here, welcome back to Tome with the Further Adventures of Agatha, which is totally not uh, Agatha from Vikings, but totally is. Anyway, where we last, where, well, last left off, where we left off, we just entered the rules, runes of Corpool. We have an escort quest of this paladin. Um, I chose to escort her instead of uh, sacrifice her. Uh, I, I think on this one I'm going to do all the escorts because I know what that does. I don't know what the sacrificing does. If uh, if I die and I start over again with Agatha and I get a uh, escort, I'll, I'll, I'll try the, uh, the sacrificing next time. So a bunch of enemies here, which is not good. So I'm going to try to whittle them down as best as possible. There we go. There. Okay, you, get back. Wow, she's a speedy little wench, isn't she? Okay, question. Where is the portal? Far to the northwest. Okay. Presuming she's going to come up this way? Yep. Nope. She went that way. Okay. Yeah, I know. I see it. Come on. Get to the portal. Thank you. Okay. Improve strength by two, which is nice. Chant. Ooh, I like the chants. Uh... Allow training of talent category, celestial chance. This goes off of, it's a sustained energy cost. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have energy. Chant the glory of the sun, re reducing the damage, uh, damage enemies three or more spaces away, deal by 12%. With the shield light dealing 1.8 light damage to anything, and the fortitude, um, increasing your maximum life by 4.1%. So this reduces damage by 12, by three or more spaces. Well, considering I'm mostly going to be melee, let's go for this one, just for the heck of it. Get this over here. Let's, oh, let's have this automatically turn on. I like how it uses a resource I don't have. How, what, I, I don't know. But we'll have that automatically turn on. More lore for the lore gods. And let's go to automatic... Uh, let's get in here. That's not good. Not you. You. There. There. So having them in a line really does help. You're still here. I think this is the, guy, the other guy. And he just healed up. To the north. There. More lore for the lore gods. Okay. <laughs> that is nice hitting the hitting the the mace with this attack here to a distance and then charging into them. I wonder if I remember correctly if I if I increase this it reduces the cooldown. I don't know if I want to do that. Cooldown seems to be okay. More gold. Nice. There we go. So. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, I need to break through that snake to get them lined up. Flaming Iron Great Ball. Uh, Two-handed, can't use it. Charge into him. Conjures Copper Ring of Blinding Strikes. A 
think this is our first... Do I have boots? No, I don't. Hey, I now have boots. Okay, Conjure's Copper Ring of Blinding Strikes, which will blind them, gives me will and magic. Uh, as long as this doesn't blow things up on me, I don't care. I also speed up? What? Why do I speed up? It doesn't say I speed up. Yeah. Or did I have a debuff? I'm going to presume I had a debuff. There we go. Yeah, that... that I love how I, I have my... It seems like my attack chains are on alternates. I do 4 into 2, 3 into 1. Who knows why I'm doing that. Okay. I wonder if I should have uh, taken the option where I could have uh, learned chance, and then I've, I, I have that free point. I could have used that free point to learn the chance. I wonder if that would have been better. Okay, next level. Yeah, nothing that I want. I'm not using my 3-1 combo as much as I should. Let's back up a bit. So these are splitting. There we go. Stop moving around. There we go. Well, it's dead. Okay. Better than the generic ones that I have. Let us transmogrify this one. And transmogrify this one. And what is this? Gives me armor 3, defense 2, range defense. Yeah. Oh. More defense. Yay. And that's why I like the... Uh, I picked up the, the range three or more does less damage just for situations like that. Because it's going to be hard for me to maneuver around the, the battlefield. More lore. More lore. I'm sure I'm missing something with those lore. It's probably, since there's a lot of classes that aren't uh, available right off the bat, I'm guessing that the lore explains how to, I can't charge any of him, how to unlock those classes. Ah, more, more gold, I'll take it. Uh, no, it's charging to him. Three, one, there we go. Uh, is this my boss? No, it's just a skeletal mage. These, uh, molds teleporting everywhere. There we go. Uh, aura here. Oh, just lit. Okay, whatever. I do believe this is going to be my first cloak. So, no matter what it is, I will take it. More defense. Oh, right in the middle. I'm going to be completely surrounded. Okay, everything is max. Let's... Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Skeletal Mage. I don't like the fly traps. I'm not worried about the bunnies. So. Let's kill the bunnies first. 
kill them. There we go. Oh, we dareth. Oh, we dareth. Can I wear it? Can I wear it? Can I wear it? Strength 35 and talent armor training 3. Wow. Random unique. Armor. Bit more armor. Bit more defense. A lot more fatigue. Gives me cunning and will. Lightning resistant. Mental save. Cut immunity and disarm immunity. Well, I'm definitely going to keep this one around. Uh, move to normal inventory. I'm going to back up to here and just wait for them to come in. Yeah, I'm not worried about the slimes or the molds, whatever those are. Okay, skeletal warrior. Charge into him. Go. What is this? Please be a better regeneration. Healing infusion of the duelist. So this healing is only for 50. This one does 66. Well, it's not the greatest, but I'll uh, move and use. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. Well, crap. Okay, let's see. Uh, <laughs> why am I such a putz? Well, let's move these around because I'm a. I'm gonna want to replace this this healing eventually. Oh, that was stupid of me. Let's go to the next level. Absolutely nothing I want to keep. Let's get stuck in. There we go. What him to do to me? There we go. Oh, poison. Uh, those leather boots I'm not worried about. Quiver I'm not worried about. Huh. Who would have thought that a troll would be down here? There we go. Length of troll intestine. I've never gotten far enough to use those. Okay, level 7. Let's see. Anything extra? I need a strength of 26 for that armor. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's see. This needs a higher level constitution of 23. But that gives me more damage resistance. This is two more. No. Yeah, two more strength here. And I'll be able to get more damage. But I seem to be doing okay, so let's just put one into each. What is this? It affects I would disable each turn. You have a 50% chance to recover from a single stun effect. Blindness. Let's see. Recover faster from potions. Let's or poisons. For a base of 16 health plus 2.2% of your maximum for 21 health total. Actually, let's let's pick this up just so I have have that. Even though it's not maxed out, we'll pick this one up next turn. Yeah, charge. Yeah, it reduces the cooldown, increases the range. Meh. Yeah, not worried about that. 
Precise Strikes, however, increases accuracy and critical chance. Uh, I don't want Pile On yet. Actually, let's just max out the Shield Offense. Since that's my main combo. And, yeah, no, I can't get... Uh, can't do anything with that... that other sustain, so I mean it's nice to have. I'm glad I, I picked it, but maybe I should have tried to pick up the category. Maybe that's what I should do. Another thing I should do next time on my Karnak, since I have that extra, if I ever get an escort where I can pick up a an ability that I like, I should get the line instead of just the just the ability. Since I do have that that extra category point right off the bat. Oops, not what I wanted to do. I keep forgetting that. No, I'm going to back off. Moving my mouse is bad when I'm doing those. Let's get in there. There we go. Okay, so this is where the boss fight is. Shoots. There's the archer. Charge into him. So having the light is going to be nice when I face off against the boss, because I'm going to be doing a little bit of damage against him at all times. There's the boss. Let's see if I can entice him out. Okay. Does this do any damage? That's okay. Uh, I definitely need to heal. Okay. get out of range of that. There we go. Okay. That heal. We need... I know, I'm being really quiet here. <laughs> I'm concentrating on the healing, and what I'm doing is I'm kiting him back so that that black slime or whatever it is can't hit me. Let's see, three light. Let's see. Okay, this is going to hurt. Nope. I got both my heals available. Block. Get out of that. He's stunned. Wait, wait, wait. Heal. Ooh, that was close. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I've got that black slime, whatever it is. Yeah, the, oh, a named Black Ooze on top of the, the main boss here. Thanks, game. That was really nice. 
Wait, before I go any further, I did just level up. So... I know I said I was going to pick this up, but this opened up, and that... I'm, I'm all about the accuracy. I want to keep hitting things. Okay. Let's pick up these three next. Actually, no. Accuracy is fine. Let's pick up the increased physical power. More damage. Very nice. We've got this maxed out. What is another one of repost do? Um, crit chance of counter strikes. Effect scales with dexterity. I'm not too concerned about that right now. I'm not worried about letting things pile on and pushing that away, so we'll leave that alone. Here's more accuracy and increases critical hit chance. Actually, let's get... My stamina was fine, but more passive healing I think will help. Because that fight was a little rough. There we go. Briog had the Elm Wand of Conjuration. Well, that's definitely not something I'm going to be using. Balanced Iron Dagger. Yeah, no, not using daggers. Uh, better Belt, which gives me more armor, more defense, more fatigue. Uh, oh, nice. It actually... Oh, no, that's the spiked. There we go. Uh, less fatigue, okay, plus some uh, encumbrance and resistance. And is this a shield? I think this is a shield. Armor, shield, yes. Yes. There we go, the coral spray, the shield. What does it do for us? Wait. Yeah, strength, oh, strength 35. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I believe it gives us better... Where's my my old shield? There it is. Tiny shield. Okay, base power, 10 to 12. Here it's 18 to 25. <laughs> uh, mastery stone shield, whatever that means. Accuracy bonus. Physical crit chance. Uh, I believe it's a higher block value. Yeah, 20 versus 48. It does cold damage. More armor, more defense. Higher fatigue, yep. And more resistances, plus two on block. Maximum air capacity. Chance to blast, uh, chance that a blast of icy cold water will spray on the target. Very nice, very, very nice. That is going to help out immensely. There's a previous level here, so I'm done with this dungeon. What is this? Huh, I never saw those before. Wow, I'm completely unobservant. So let's head back out. Anything in here I want to keep? Let's see. Spiked iron, iron plate armor. More fatigue, more defense. A little less armor, which is interesting. Uh, gives me resistances and damage when hit. So I want to keep this one. I do not want that. Do not want copper ring of perseverance. Stun freeze and light. Oh, more life regen. Very nice. Okay, none of these I want to keep. Oh, I don't like getting rid of uniques like that. Okay, let's get... Uh, yeah, I need three for that. Where is the Copper Ring of Perseverance? There we go. Okay, so my, my health regen is now up to seven per turn. 
very, very, very nice. Okay, well, that'll do it for this episode. Next episode, we are going to pick up on the main quest line. Do I have a quest? Yeah, quest log. Okay. Uh, hidden treasures. We might actually go to do the hidden treasures now that I got a bit more power, and then we'll uh, start going on the Into Darkness quest line. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, even though I got real quiet when I was fighting that boss. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have fun.